Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to remove item from the order summary. Here you can see you have uh, already added order, right? So let's say I want to remove the product. Actually, I don't want to buy currently, right? So I can actually uh, remove it. So we are going to add here a button, remove. So let's go add here a button. In the order blade, we are going to say here one more th. And it would be let's say for the action. And we are going to add one more TD here. And here we are going to say anchor tag. And here I'm going to say that remove. I'm going to add here a class, bootstrap class. It will be button, button danger. Now, if I refresh, here you can see we have a remove button. Now, I'll actually give a route. So let's add a route here. Here we are going to say admin dot let's say remove order. We need the specific order ID, so we are going to say here order ID. Okay, because we have fetched the order, right? Here you can see, so we can actually add the order ID with it. So let's go create the URL here in the admin middleware we are going to add it remove and we are going to copy this get route paste it here let's start it from here change the name and url also remove orders so we have id in the url and we'll actually go for the function and that is remove order so we are going to say remove order and i'm going to copy this and i'm going to go to the admin controller here we are going to add the function remove order so here i'm going to say public function remove order and here we have the id right i'm going to say dollar id to the id we'll actually find the order specific order order is equal to we're going to say we are going to say here order model okay order order model colon colon find or fail to the id we are going to say dollar id okay and here we are going to just say dollar order delete that's it so now if i refresh unless i want to remove this so it will be removed okay but the problem is let's say the quantity is now uh, five with it right so i'm going to actually add this quantity here okay to, for the specific product right so before that before the deletion okay i'm going to actually find the product also uh, product so i'm going to say product products colon colon i'm going to say find or fail here i'm going to say dollar order product id on the product from the order table we are going to fetch product id and through the product id we are going to fetch all uh, actually all the things related to the product table right and here in the product table we are going to add the quantity so let's go add the quantity i'm going to copy it and paste it here and here i'm going to actually uh, add the quantity at first so now i'm going to say that dollar quantity is equal to i'll say dollar order quantity right product quantity now i'm going to say quantity here sorry uh, this quantity right and here at first i'm going to save the product table information and then i will actually delete it and i will say return redirect back okay now the product should be product quantity should be added right here automatically when i remove the product from here now if i refresh now let's say we have a uh, men's 
cross body bag here you can see this one so this one item is now 16 right it should be 21 so let's go check now if i remove it if i refresh now it should be 21 here you can see 21 so it's perfect and working perfectly right like this we can actually add it okay so we have here shoe so shoe is 29 now we can actually remove it and it should be 30 here you can see 30 okay guys so it's working perfectly i hope you understand and the project is end here if you have any confusion let me know in the comment section yeah that's it thank you so much for watching